In the final days before the election, President Trump is again raising suspicions about the integrity of the vote. These ballots, it's turning out to be exactly what I said. Who's sending them? Where are they going? Who's sending them back? With nearly 70 million early votes already cast, the president calling for the winner to be declared quickly. It would be very, very proper and very nice if a winner were declared on November 3rd instead of counting ballots for two weeks, which is totally inappropriate. In fact, because of the pandemic and the increase in mail-in voting, results could be delayed. And many states, by law, are given weeks to officially count the results. The president is also calling on his supporters to act as, quote, poll watchers on Election Day. Be very vigilant and watch. Be poll watchers. Watch. Putting a spotlight on the crucial battleground state of Pennsylvania and the state's largest Democratic stronghold. We're watching you, Philadelphia, and we're watching at the highest level. Philadelphia's DA argues that amounts to voter intimidation, which he says they will not tolerate from either the left or the right, and raising concerns that the president's words may incite militia groups to turn up. We don't have private armies in the United States. You do not get to be a militia just because you say so. While laws vary state by state, poll watchers must be registered and are not allowed to intimidate voters. In Michigan, where militia members were recently charged in an alleged plot to kidnap the governor, a judge struck down a directive that would have banned open carry within 100 feet of voting locations. Next door in the battleground state of Wisconsin, the Green Bay police chief says they're ready for next week. With plans to have officers in plain clothes near polling places in case there's any effort to disrupt the process. I want people to feel as though here in Green Bay it's just like every other election. But in this one, we're going to be much more aware of what's happening. If you still have one of those mail-in ballots and you have not yet mailed it in, experts in many states are now saying don't take a chance that you will have your ballot lost in the mail or that it doesn't arrive in time. Instead, come to one of the official county ballot box locations and drop your ballot in the box in an official ballot box to make sure that, in fact, it arrives and it's counted on time.